This is just the fourth time that temperatures in Ireland have entered the 30s in the past 30 years. The highest temperature today was recorded at the Met Station in Kilkenny. Yes, it's, it's rare that you, we cross the 30 degree hurdle in Ireland, but uh, we've got it today uh, down in Kilkenny, maybe a few other places as well. But while Kilkenny's weirs became outdoor swimming pools and Galway's beaches were turned into the Riviera, the Irish Cancer Society reminded people that days like this have a price. Research has shown that most of the damage to the skin occurs at home in Ireland. And when we go abroad on holidays, we tend to take more precautions. We tend to be more careful with our protective agents, etc. Most of the damage occurs here. Well, you tend to put it on, like, maybe just the once when the kids are going out or something like that. But you wouldn't use it as much as you would be if you were to somewhere like that. Women are more conscious. Men are just, they don't think they realise when they're going out with no tops on that they need to have sun cream on. I have some friends of mine that are dark and they don't wear any factor at all. Ladies said he don't need to. I've been burnt too many, been there too many times, you know, that don't want to take the chance again, you know, and especially with the younger ones. It's not that Irish people aren't using sunscreen, it's just that they're not using it liberally and often enough. This is the amount of sunscreen that an adult should be using every sunny day, and it should be reapplied every two hours, and it shouldn't be rubbed in. But the safest advice is to wear a hat, cover up or stay indoors between 11 and 3 during the day. And that's not just the case when the temperature hits 30. This particular heat wave is expected to break tomorrow, but temperatures will remain in the low 20s for the rest of the week. Anne-Marie Smith, RTE News.